of some counter matchups, but ultimately, Gangplank is always going to struggle against ranged champions. Uh, his ultimate is a great contributor in setting up for dives, and you've also got the package of Origin. Cool. It's do or die. They have to reverse sweep G2 if they're going to make it straight through to the finals. Otherwise, they will face Fnatic next week. Watch Mickey X here. They did this last game where he took W and snuck around. Alfari's playing a oh. little bit. Oh. They have Gangplank. Now, they don't have the Swain they had last game, so it's less CC. I don't think Nexus they can get a kill, well. but they could look to burn an early flash. Nexus How are they going to do well? this? How? Has yet to level up a skill, doesn't have the W. Here we go. Wonder stepping straight into Alfari. There's Mickey. Waiting for the knockup. Alfari doesn't flash away from it. The chase is still on. Alfari ignited the parlay. You wonder with first blood, and that puts a massive stake through the heart of Origin's plans of playing through top. It's just disrespect to the amount of damage Gangplank does at level one with his passive. The true damage burn is huge, and Alfari was not going to flash the initial CC. Papa Smith is saying, the more I watch and review Wonder, the more convinced I get that he might be the best Western League of Legends player. Well, give the best Western League of Legends player first blood, and let's see what right he can do. Right now, for the bot side of the map, in favor of G2, uh, and it means that the risk of a dive yes. is very real. Quickness used, the Featherstorm comes out, it's from Perks as well, the Root's gonna land onto Patrick as he flashes away, Mithy underneath the tower still has the thick skin available, the Void Rush coming onto Patrick, and Yankos will secure him, Cold now here, dunks down onto the Rex side, but he isn't close enough to the tower, taking damage, Nuke gets able to get away with the Blast Cone, Cap's still on the chase though, and Nuke Duck won't be there to save his jungler in time, two for one change. So far, Mithy with the Abyss of Voyage gets behind Caps, but all they're going to do is chase him back towards Perks, Perks and Tomb, Clayton's Ooh. away from Yuta, has a lot of damage, but Caps gets the second, Mithy will kill Mickey, and won't be able to get away, Perks flashes away from Mithy and gets a kill for himself as well, 3 for 2 in favour of G2. A bloody engagement around the bottom lane, but G2 show no hesitation, Yankos just landed the Prey Seeker and dove straight underneath the tower to get the first kill on uh, And now the Rift Herald is a point of contention, remember that OG do have four Four members here, Caps has the package, so wow. he should be able to get out fairly safely. But look at how low cold is. The gangplank ulti is available, and here comes Yankos. Yankos on his way, knocks up the scuttle crab. Rift Hell is gonna reset. Wonder chase off towards the top side. Has to burn the flash, and Yankos coming in from the side here as Caps chases away Nuke Duck. Rift Hell chased him all the way into the jungle, but it's just going to reset in the end. But now Perks has just taken the bot 5,000 gold lead for G2. Just continues to extend. Caps waiting for the Rift Hell to charge in. The tower goes down. Mithy caught out by Yankos here. Pops the thick skin, but Caps is on the chase. Root up with the flame. Chompers not going to have enough damage to take down Mithy, but Patrick's forced back oh, as well. Going in. And with the Rift Hell going forward there, oh. the Void Rush, Yankos gets the kill. He'll get a double. Takes down Mithy. And now Cold is on the chase as Yankos just about gets away for the moment. Eventually will fall to the vision of Ben. Doesn't connect. He's used the bow to get away, but there's no flash on Yankos cold, cold is gonna get it. Does have his flash EQ combo. Final auto attacks enough. They shut down Yankos, but they lose so much How for it. much they dominated the league. We were talking about them as the most dominant team we'd ever seen in Europe. And this is such a strong performance by them as they get the charm on the back line. Caps rooted up. Nuke Dog uses the frozen tomb on himself. Mithy very low, almost goes down to the cannon barrage. The bow is not able to connect, but here's Caps from the side. And now Nuke Dog just trying to dodge around. Perks gets the kill. It's another as Wonder puts the parlay into the back of Mithy. Two more players from OG fall, and G2 once again come out on top. Total vision control over the bam hit. Tunnel coming in here as Mithy is overstepped. Pops the thick skin. The blast good news by Wonder. Mithy will go down. Wonder on a killing spree. Ten to three. Seven and a half thousand gold lead for G2. Buff is up. You're warning for a cloud drake. It just doesn't make sense. Origin are all out of sorts. We were wondering what they were going to do. They're just going to get engaged on. Charm lands onto Cold. The second charm onto Alfari as well. Nuke splitting down towards the bottom side, but Cold will pop the Cataclysm and he will fall. G2 just cleaning up Origin. The Void Rush comes in and Yanko sinks the fangs in. Perks gets a double. This could just be the game. And Origin are falling apart as the five man unit of G2 make their way towards the Nexus and will make their way towards the final at Rotterdam. They didn't win a title in 2018. They dominated the first half of the split and then people started to doubt. People wondered if G2 could be as strong as they looked early on. Well, they are showing us here against Origin that they are here to fight. Origin, they're trying their best. It's the last ditch effort for this team. Nexus towers are down. G2 take down Nuke Duck, and the Nexus is in their sights. Cold with a flash in. Alfari here as well. Patrick pops the Superman to death. Shut gets down. One. Caps shut down. The Nexus towers have fallen, but G2 have to run. Patrick looking for the resets. The red buff slow. The zap is getting up. Excited, he gets people. excited, but they can't get the chase off any further. Tarkench comes in behind them, but it's all him on his lonesome. It's Mithy versus his former team as they try and take down Perks. Don't root him up. Don't take him out. It's a shutdown. 
down, going over to Cole. Origin are running to Baron. This was their last chance to stay alive in the game. G2 thought they had the time to take down it's the only Yankos that can try to steal. 8,000 HP left on the Baron. Yankos has stolen an Elder Dragon already. This Weak and Wonder has the teleport up in seven seconds as well. 4,000 HP on the Baron. Patrick wailing away on it, but Yankos looking for the ability to get in. The Baron down to 2,000. Yeah, Yankos gets Mithy. The Baron down to 1,000 now, but Mithy eats him up. And Cold will get it. Wonder now teleported into the fight. Is this enough? Can G2 get the chase off? Can Origin get out with their lives? Nuke Duck is down towards the bottom side. Afari chased out by Wonder. Wonder just needs the trial by fire. He gets him. That's another kill for Yankos off towards the top side as well as Patrick falls. Cold chased underneath the tower. He will survive. They can hold the line against five members of G2. Only three in the base right now. Let's see if Origin can do it. Super Minions pushing in. Perks and Caps on their way. Look at the death timers. Mithy up. Patrick in 10. Alfari in 20. Baron Minions now respawn for Origin. The engage the charm. Caps jumps in. Nuke Duck goes golden. Pops the stop one for the moment. But he's down. And Caps and G2 will silence anyone that doubted them. And they will fight for the title in Rotterdam. Expectations were not that G2 would 3-0. G2 were the best team on the day, and they're looking like the best team going into Rotterdam. And this is what the team was built to be. They were meant to dismantle Europe. They picked the best players from every position, and they hoped to build one of the strongest rosters that Europe has ever seen. And while they faltered in the second half of the split, they came into playoffs prepared, and now they look like a terror for whoever goes up against them in the final. Because for 2018, G2. They made it semifinals. Everyone remembers that, but it was a failure domestically. They could not continue their streak. They won four titles in the first two years before it. They won zero in 2018.